Hey guys, Darren here with a box review of 1995 Pacific Gridiron. This is an oversized card that is an amazing amount of real estate for an image. It's an awesome concept. And I have opened a lot of these boxes over the years. Mostly, I was buying these in 96 and 97 because they didn't really sell all that well. So that meant that in the years following, there was just this effort to unload them. And you can tell the box is kind of crushed because there are so many things that are unusual about this set. The size, of course, is what all of this is really centered around. But this was a nostalgia opportunity for me because I opened so many of these boxes, I completed the set, which is significant because every single pack comes with only one card. 36 pack box for a 100 card set means you have to buy at least three boxes to complete a set. So I probably opened five, maybe six boxes. Got a lot of parallels. But the, um, so for me, this was a, a big nostalgia opportunity. But first I wanna talk about why the box is crushed. And that's because when you put, so when every single card is in the, in the wrapper, the wrapper is a nice tight fit. And there's initially some buoyancy to it because you know, there's air inside. And so the, the packs fill up the, the whole space, but then over time they compress down. And so the, box, the packs actually took up probably, probably about 60% of the box. So when I opened it, it looked like there were a lot missing, but there were none missing. So that's just a thing to keep in mind. You might open it up and it looks like, if you get a box, it might look like there aren't enough packs. If you count them, you'll find that there are enough in there. And originally, I was thinking of doing this as a box rip, going pack by pack, because it's only 36 packs. And I'm glad I didn't, because the problem with opening these packs is, normally, you've got a, a certain amount of, of space here. So that means that you have the ability to really get in there and grab hold and get, get a, a, a certain amount of room to work. These cards, because they're one per pack, there's virtually no room in the, in the pack. That way it keeps everything rigid and tight. So that meant that when I would pull this to the side, there was, there was very little real estate to, to grab hold and get a good, um, a good pull. So it actually took me a little extra time to open each pack, which was kind of annoying. But at any rate, the, like I said, opening uh, up a box of these, of uh, these cards gives you 36 cards, but every nine packs gives you a parallel. So there are actually 32 cards for the set out, out of this box. So that means that you would have to buy at least four boxes because three boxes with no doubles is still going to get you about four cards shy of a complete set. And this is the blue version. There's also a red version. I've, I've collected the blue. I've not collected the red. So I assume the red is hobby. And like I said, the, the images on these, these uh, cards are not special images. It's just that all the real estate gives you some really impressive uptight shots of each one of the, of the pictures, which means that these cards, which normally wouldn't all that work all that well for a normal card, they re work beautifully for this, this large, uh, the large landscape that we've got to work with on them. So that's, that's really what this card set is, is about. That's what makes it great. And you can see that it's a, it's a, a variety of players. So they don't have it laid out like a set. They just have the cards all, uh, or the players all scattered throughout. And I've, I've never been a fan of that because there's a, I'm more of a logical person. So it's the scattered quality of the set is kind of annoying, but it is, it is a card set that I wish they'd done oversized cards more than just twice, but they did it. They uh, certainly did this, um, this one time. So you've already seen that I had got the Troy Aikman, Deion Sanders, and let's see, let's move ahead and see who else I got. I, uh, Junior Seah and Warren Moon and Herman Moore. That's, that closes out the, the star players. So you can see that I didn't get a lot of star players, but I, I was, I should have gotten about a third of them and I got almost a third. Aikman and Dion is basically the key to what I got out of the set. But I did get uh, the parallels. I did not get a gold parallel. I only got the, um, the platinum. And I got Eric Rett, 
I got Barry Sanders as a parallel, so that card is um, is a huge plus. I also got Reggie White, which is awesome, and then I got Michael Haynes, and I'm pretty sure I don't need Haynes or Rhett. Uh, Barry and Reggie, I, I'm positive I need that. I'm pretty sure I need Barry. So that was good. Didn't get a lot of stars out of the main set, but out of the parallel, I did get I did get Barry. Now these cards are a lot easier to work with than the tall boys because they are the right proportions, so they fit really well in your hand. And so moving them around is is great. Um, that's that's one of the the pluses. And fortunately, the uh, there were card pages made for these, so these fit very well into binders. And so everything that you need is there to enjoy collecting these cards. It's just the fact that every single box only has 36 cards. And on top of that, only 32 of them are, are toward the set. And opening them, opening one card per pack, unless it's a really small set, it's tough to really get excited because when you go through and you open the packs, you go, okay, so you get Don uh, Mikowski, and then you get James Joseph, and then the next pack you get Dave Brown, and then you get Lorenzo White, and you got Michael Timpson, and you're already starting to really feel the uh, the weight of not getting anybody. You get uh, you know Ricky Irvin, and then you get Eric Rett as a parallel, and then you get Raymond Harris and Andre Coleman, and that's really the the big problem that they have with this is opening these packs. You've got to be thinking at a much larger scale. You got to be thinking, okay, there are 36 players. We're going to get through all the packs to get to 30, 36 cards. And if you do that, then at the end of the day, you can say, okay, I got Sterling Sharp and Michael Irvin and Troy Aikman and wherever he is, Deion Sanders. And I also got Barry Sanders and I got Reggie White. And so you can think in that term when it's all done, but during the process, it's not that exciting of of a process, although it does make it a lot more uh, a lot more enjoyable when you do finally get a, a star player out of it. So for me, I'm glad that I got this experience back when I was collecting the set through getting multiple boxes because I got to experience it the right way. Collecting it now is the, they just they charge too much. I mean, for why somebody would charge forty or fifty dollars for a box of this? It's just somebody who doesn't understand what's inside the box, and people buy it for that price, which more of the same. So I really wish that these were were less affordable because then, or was excuse me, were more affordable because then we could have fun with them. But I'm I was glad to be able to go through the process and experience it, and um, you know, again, getting the Barry Sanders and the Reggie White that was that was a good perk. But yeah, I guess I guess that's about all there is to it. So um, fun nostalgia for me. Yeah, thank you guys for watching.